Hi there everyone and welcome to another tip. Um, I'm going to go over now how to um, start to make your timeline more colorful by using color coding in the timeline. So um, in previous versions of Harmony we did have the ability to specify some color coding on a drawing layer and what would happen was if we come in here and take a look at all modules in normal view mode um, then I can select uh, my character and take a look down here and see that I have already color coded one of these drawing layers. So when it's an actual drawing layer what happens is that it will color the exposure with that um, with that value and in the previous version if you had a gap or anything like that then this area would not be color coded it would just be blank. So what we did in this version to change things up and make it much easier uh, was whenever you have a blank area you still have a washed out faded out sort of area where it's color coded. So let's do a similar thing where I'm just going to come in here on one of these layers and have a gap. And um, so you see this is the default color behavior. And then if I come in and I specify a specific color, then you get the color coding in the in the region that has the um, you know the the drawings in it. And then when you have a gap you see that bit of a sort of washed out version. The other thing that's new here is that we do now have the ability to color code all modules, including group modules, effect modules, and peg layers. So in the past, what I would often want to do is I'd want to color code quickly the, the groups for the characters because that would enable me to, if I have a large scene and I just want to see which character I'm looking for, I could color code the character. So even though this is a group layer, I now still have the ability to select the color and then you see the color as a bit of a washed out version just like you see when there's a gap in a, in a drawing layer. And I can also come in here on a peg layer if there's a specific peg layer I want to animate on all the time. I can select that layer and color code that layer. So actually when you take a look at the color coding in the timeline now, it becomes really, really nice. Um, really easy to see at a glance when there are modules that you want to um, quickly um, get to. And, um, and then the other thing is you see the color coding now applying in the network as well. So you see here for the group layer, I see the, the color in the timeline and I see the same color as a swatch on the side of my group. And then within here as well, I can see the swatches for the different characters next to the characters there. And um, you can see that character has been disabled. So let's just re-enable her. So um, you can see the color coding that corresponds in the timeline also now has a visual reference in your network. So yay! So lastly, when we are using color coding in the timeline, the other thing that you might want to do is you might want to color code a specific time in your timeline. So in other words, if you've done a bit of a rough pass and you've identified that, oh, she's going to, to start moving here and then the boy is only going to start moving on frame, you know, 20 ish. So I can grab frame 20 and I can, you see this little area underneath of the timeline at the top, when you drag it at the top of the timeline, it moves your playhead. When you drag this little region underneath it, this is a place where you can add what we call a scene marker. So I can right click on there, go to scene marker, create scene marker, and I can give it a color and I can even give a note there. So boy, moving, and then I can click OK. And I now, not only do I see the scene marker showing up there, I also can mouse over it and I see the note that I left on that as well. And so all of this stuff combined together, in the end you'll have perhaps a very colorful looking timeline with all kinds of different um, layers that have been color coded and different scenes that have been identified. And then um, it creates for a much nicer looking project and makes it easier for you to work as well so that you can quickly um, see things at a glance. So that's it for um, color coding in the timeline. Hopefully these changes are really going to help you guys to work more efficiently and I hope you love them.